The conference room is a room where participants can be placed into a call to create a group conference. The default size of this room is eight. However, this can be increased to 24. Please contact the QuickLink sales team to discuss the number of participants you wish to use. Independent video and audio can be pulled for each individual participant. In this room type, the contributor has the control of their view, which is either tile view or focused view. Now, before introducing any participants into your conference room call, you'll need to configure the data rate of your room. So if you come down to the conference room and you're hovering over it, you'll see a pencil icon come up here. Click on that to open up the room settings window. And from here, you can set the data rate from the drop down menu. You'll need to make sure that you have enough bandwidth to cope with that data rate. You can toggle on and off the conference room chat as well. If you want people to be able to communicate with each other, you can give your room a name as well here. You can also give your room a logo. So if you go to display logo, you can either drag a logo in here or you can browse if you have one saved on your computer. Select your logo. That's in there then. And then once you're happy with all your settings, just click save. You're now ready to start adding people into your conference room. So to do so, your guests will appear on the left hand side here. You just click and drag them into a seat. You'll notice that these icons have changed and you have a few different options. Now somebody is in your conference room. First of all, you can mute and unmute people. You can stop their video and you can set the focus to them. Now, one thing you will need to be aware of is if you have muted or stopped their video to get it back, it basically sends a request to the guest. So they will have to accept that. See that here, an operator wants to enable your camera. They have to accept that their end. And the same with the audio control. You'll see that you get these spinning loading icons here. Same message there. Now the audio is back on. Up here in the top left of the room, you have got the preview window. So if you click that to open that, that'll open the preview window. Start video tiling. You'll see there's only me in here at the minute. If you had more guests in, you would see all your guests along here tiled. You can also operate the talk back from here. So if you need to communicate with the guests, just unmute that, mute it again, and then you have your monitoring device up here as well. Another thing you have is the chatting window. So any messages that people are sending to you or between themselves, this will appear here. So if I were to go back to this, put in a message, you will see that in the chat window. You can also mute all of the users in a room. So if you need to just turn off all of the audio of everybody in here, just click that and that will stop everybody's audio. The same with the video. And if you need to kick everybody out for whatever reason, you can basically exit all users in the room. Now, if you just want to take one person out of the room, all you need to do, like getting them in, you click on them and then drag them out over here. You'll see at the bottom, you can terminate the user from the session. So be careful if you don't want to completely remove them from the session, make sure that you're dropping them back up the top here. Thank you for watching. You can access other instruction videos on our YouTube channel or by navigating to support.quicklink.tv.